studio, I want you to tell me about um, the size of the studio and why does the size matter for different productions? Okay. And then what kind of technologies? It's so just a couple uh, questions. Okay. Just, just, I can ask you <laughs> one after one. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the size. Okay, so size. So, yeah, so at our widest point, we are 40 feet wide. We're 16 feet tall with a 19 foot by 20 foot ceiling. Um, we're at a 2.8 pixel pitch. Oh, wow. Pixel pitch is how far the distance is between each pixel. So 2.8 millimeters um, in, in between each pixel. So pretty tight together. And okay. then um, we have, so we have about 15 and a half million pixels on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, it's being run by four high-end computers with 256 gigs of RAM each running NVIDIA AS6000s. Um, and those are feeding into Brompton processors that power what basically is this giant wall that you see behind you. Um, Amazing. We have an Alexa Mini LF as our main camera of choice. Okay. With Zeiss Supreme lenses, Supreme Prime lenses, and then as we talked about a little bit earlier, it's all being tracked with our Mosis uh, camera tracking system. Yeah, the main technology on our side is the Unreal Engine, and mm -hmm. we've been teaching the Unreal Engine for 2005. So we um, as we as in game art, game art. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and even actually before game art started, when we were just a game class in the computer animation program, we yes. were teaching it. So, so we knew that there was sort of you know these these other aspects of it. So that's why as soon as Anne came to me and was like, "Hey, would game art be interested?" and I'd be like, "Yeah, of course. That's all we do. We're doing Unreal all the time." So, um, so for for us, it's it's fantastic because again, it's it's mainly a game engine, but um, or that's sort of what it was originated. But it's really kind of any real time application. Um, and so game art itself used to be like, hey, this is a game art program. You know, traditionally we're going to do these things that are game. Um, but really, what we're finding is that there's a lot of real time applications out there, right, for architecture and VR and virtual production mm -hmm. um, that sort of fits the role where you need a real time artist. You need somebody that knows how to not only make the things in Unreal, but also sort of the front end do the modeling. When you need custom things, we're doing yes. the modeling side as well. So. Um, you know, both computer animation and game art uh, do Unreal and, uh, and Maya, so we're able to sort of, you know, learn how to, to build all these things from scratch.